Thank you, Chairman. I appreciate this hearing. Um, Dr. Holt, um, in a circumstance in which science discovers that a substance or a chemical is harmful to human health, and there is an industry involved in the manufacture or the distribution of that chemical or substance, and that industry wants to fight back against the science. What sort of an apparatus does uh, such an industry have at its disposal to take on the enterprise of science? Well, let me stick to the subject at hand here. Uh, a, an approach <coughs> that they might use is to say that their test results are proprietary um, and uh, under this rule, if it were in effect, uh, the studies uh, that were uh, that were uh, that might be available uh, would not be available because uh, they have a legitimate claim to keep their data proprietary, non-public, and therefore uh, some good science that had been verified in appropriate ways uh, would not be available to the regulatory agency. And, um, and Setting aside that question for a minute, yeah. just back to my original question, uh, does an industry in that predicament have access to an array of groups that have experience in trying to uh, deprecate science and uh, foment alternative views? Well, uh, as I've heard you speak often, uh, there is an imbalance in uh, access to resources, access to media, um, and uh, uh, you know access to uh, public persuasion. Uh, or uh, so the regulatory agencies are set up in order to um, try to restore that imbalance to make sure that. Uh, 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 that, that all parties have input to the regulatory process. The um, concern or a concern that I have about the um, very title um, of this hearing, Sound and Transparent Science, which in theory is a very good thing, um, goes back to a phrase that has been kicked around in this conversation called secret science, which I think is um, a highly misleading term. My understanding is that very often in public health, in order to get data, you look at people's public health records. You look at who got sick, who didn't. You look at the health records of human beings. The um, condition of getting access to those records is that you don't give that private information out publicly. People's families might not want to know about it. People's people might not want their employers to know about it. Um, there might even be cases where they don't want their insurance companies to know about it. Will you agree with me that it should not be the price of having health records form the basis for scientific study that the individuals involved lose all their privacy with respect to their health records. Uh, still directed at yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, I mean, you're, you're right. As I said earlier, uh, there really is no secret science. Uh, there should be fully available science uh, when it comes to making regulation. <laughs> and, and the term uh, that secret sci that really science that science is not just the data. Some of the data must be kept uh, 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 non-public because of uh, health records, because of uh, legal proprietary information, uh, because of, of a number of other things. But if you were uh, an industry... But the science itself, the process of taking those data and verifying them uh, should not be secret. But that's not what this rule or this legislation would deal with. 
if you were an industry that wanted strategically to knock down public health science so that the dangers of your product were not understood or made public, then this would be a pretty handy way to go about it because you disable an entire field yes. of legitimate public health science by calling secret science, science that actually only depends on people's health records. I, I think it could be used that way. Um, may I ask unanimous consent that a um, curriculum vitae for uh, Dr. Calabresi dated August 2013 be put into the record? I don't know if it's in the record already, but it's a pretty good uh, summary of some of his industry clients and how much they've paid him over the years, and I think that's important in uh, judging the witnesses' um, conflicts of interest here. So if Without I could add that to the record. Thank you. Thank you. you know